In Kharkiv now, the simple act of going outside has become a risk. Russia's offensive reaches deep into Ukraine. These are pictures of what's claimed to be a Russian airstrike on the Ukrainian city of Zhitomir. That's 80 miles west of the capital, Kiev. Rescuers search for survivors. In Kiev, five people were killed when the main TV and radio tower was hit. Russia has warned that it's preparing to go after further targets. It may do so using forces in this 40-mile-long military convoy stationed 20 miles from the outskirts of Kiev. The build-up suggests that Russia may choose to intensify its assault in an effort to overthrow Ukraine's pro-Western government. War can slip. That's it. But Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, remains in power. He's even invited journalists in Kiev to meet him. Showing his face as often as possible has become a wartime strategy. That is why no-fly zone. These are preventative sanctions. We wanted them like other ones before. Now the sanctions have been introduced. Thanks be to God and we see how they affect the Russian economy. We warn both the president and the European Union. Introduce them preventively, introduce them earlier and you'll see what the reaction will be, that there will not be any invasion. Millions of Ukrainians now face the hardest of choices. Stay or leave. Those who remain now prepare their own homemade fortification. In sport, Swiss billionaire Hans Jörg Weiss has announced that he had been offered the opportunity to buy English Premier League club Chelsea. Russian Israeli billionaire Roman Abramovich announced that last Saturday that he was stepping back from the daily running of the club in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Abramovich is a likely target for sanctions already announced by the British government and directed at Russian oligarch and uh, those close to the Russian leader. According to the Swiss billionaire, the offer to buy Chelsea also included another three potential buyers. Hans Gog, Wies added that he would only move forward in a consortium of six to seven investors. Swiss billionaire Hans-Jörg Wies announced that he had been offered the opportunity to buy English Premier League club Chelsea. Russian-Israeli billionaire Roman Abramovich, owner of Chelsea since 2003, announced last Saturday that he was stepping back from the daily running of the club in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Abramovich is a likely target for sanctions already announced by the British government and directed at those close to the Russian leader. According to the Swiss billionaire, the offer to buy Chelsea also included another three potential buyers. Hans-Jörg Wies added that he would only move forward in a consortium of six to seven investors. That sporting item concludes the news, but before I take a run, here's a recap of stories in the headlines. It's 80 Zambian nationals from Ukraine. Board of Directors of the Local Authority Superannuation Fund dissolved. Former DMMU National Coordinator Chan Nakawe fails to appear before the Public Accounts Committee for the second time. In foreign news, Russian invasion of Ukraine enters seventh day. In sports, future of Roman Abramovich as owner of Chelsea Football Club in count. That's the news. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.